Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney. So today I'm going to be doing a <laughs> photo card collection update type video. So I'm going to split this into BTS and non-BTS. So I'm going to do non-BTS first because it should be a lot quicker <laughs> um, because I have like a million BTS binders and I, I think I only have four non-BTS binders. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We have twice. Um, it's going to be first. I think I'm going to do all my girl groups and then my boy group second. So let's just go ahead and get started. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to like talk during this because like I don't know if I'm gonna have that much to say um but anyway for twice I collect Sana, Mina, and Chaeyoung my bias is Sana um but I collect all three because I like the way it looks and twice is like one of the easiest groups to collect for to be honest so um I'm not complete I'm still missing quite a few of Mina's early cards and then um like a few random like Sana and Chaeyoung cards um, for Sana and Chaeyoung, I do have them both complete, as in I have like purchased or traded for all the cards, they're just not all here. And then for Mina, I'm missing two of her signal cards and one of her year of yes cards. So other than that though, I'm pretty much done. So, but anyway, here is story begins. Um, and I always organize my cards in fan chant order or age order. So for twice I do age order. Um, and then this is the OT9 set that I'm collecting for Twice Coaster Lane 1. Um, I have this whole thing coming from a seller on Instagram. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. And then Twice Coaster Lane 2. I have both of these coming from Neokyo. Signal, I have this whole set, like this whole OT9 set coming. So I do collect OT9 sets for basically every era, unless I don't have to. So I just want to make sure that um, I'm ending the eras like on one page if that makes any sense <laughs> like i think you guys know what i mean though but anyway here is signal so signal is the one i'm missing a lot for mina and then twice to gram so most of these um, mina cards are gonna be coming to me eventually um, i just don't have them on hand right now but we have mary and happy what is love What is Love, I think, are my favorite cards. Mm, maybe. They're some of my favorites. It's definitely one of my favorite title tracks. Um, my favorite title tracks for Twice are What is Love, Feel Special, Can't Stop Me. I think those are like my top three. Um, but I really like basically all of them. The only ones I don't really love are like more and more and alcohol free and like I like both of those they're just not like compared to the rest of um and I don't like signal I, I don't like signal I like more and more and alcohol free somewhat and then the rest of them I love is basically how I would categorize it so now we have yes or yes so for most of these like I said before I am done And then Year of Yes. I'm missing one Year of Yes card for Mina still. The other two are, or the other one is on the way. And then Fancy You, I'm like completely done with that. I think Feel Special had some of the best cards as well. Like I really like this set, which is obviously why I did OT9 for it. And I tend to like the music video sets as well. So like whenever they have sets where they're in their music video outfits, I always try and get those. But I just think these are nice. They're really like cohesive and they look good together. And then more and more. I think for more and more for like all of these, I just bought full sets for like everyone. Like for Sana, Mina, and Chet, I think I just bought full sets. So like this set was like done really quick and I didn't have to do anything. And more and more was a set that I didn't have to get an OT9 set for either because there were nine cards. So they filled out three um, nine pocket pages perfectly. Um, and then eyes wide open, still waiting on two more cards to come in for this. Yeah, like I said, I am pretty much done with all of these. I'm just waiting on them to actually arrive to me. And then we have Taste of Love. 
I might move these lenticulars to the top. I haven't decided yet. Um, they look like that. And then here's some random unit cards. I do want to get the other units for this and then the group um, or the other unit, whatever I'm missing for this one as well. Then we have the pre-order sets. So I have, these are only the pre-order sets from like the albums that I actually like bought that came with the pre-order set. So um, we have Fancy, Feel Special, More and More, Eyes Wide Open. I have two for this one. And then Taste of Love is the first one that I have all three for. Because originally what I was doing with Twice was I was only buying one version of their album. I didn't actually start buying multiple versions until I started collecting them, which was during Eyes Wide Open. So, and these are just random things. So I've stand Twice for like quite a while. Like I've been following them basically since I got into K-pop in 2017, but I didn't collect them because they always kind of intimidated me. Um, until last year when I think a, a few of my friends started to collect them. Um, but these are just random larger inclusions. Some of them I have, like all of my bias line for, some of them I don't. But yeah, Twice always intimidated me, so I never collected them. Um, but then, like I said, a lot of my friends started to, so I was like, okay. I had FOMO. Posters. JYP loves these freaking posters nowadays. Now, like, both Twice and Itzy are doing them. And these are the Target exclusive bookmarks. And then the coasters and the tasting cards. And then for Twice, I also do collect the Japanese, like, high touch album cards, I guess. I don't really know how you would describe them, but. Um, I have all of Che's but one. Sana, I have all of her older ones. And then um, Kura Kura, because that's the most recent one. For Sana, I'm missing quite a few because they're really expensive for like, there's like a six or seven album spread that they're really expensive for because they didn't, they only put like a member card in like 1% of the albums or something ridiculous. Like it was really difficult to pull the non-group card in those. So um, her cards are really expensive for that. And then Mina, I just haven't really started on, to be honest. Um, I'm waiting until I finish out the Korean album discography to get started on Mina. Um, but yeah, that's why there's like a giant blank here where Mina's cards would go. But then yeah, for Sana, I have basically up through Breakthrough. From Breakthrough to Kira Kira, um, her cards are quite expensive. Um, just cause like I said, they didn't, they gave like the group card with like basically every album and it was really difficult to get the individual member cards. I also need to move these two group cards, um, to a different spot, but I haven't yet. And then these are the little ID things that came with the hashtag twice albums. And this is a postcard that came with whatever and twice. Yeah. I need to get Sana and Mina for that. And then this in the back is just some random stuff. I think these are some um, like random pre-order things that came with more and more an eyes wide open. I don't think Taste of Love came with this. And then these are the Yes I'm Sana um, photo cards. So I did actually end up buying the Yes I'm Mina book as well, but I bought the reprint and the reprint didn't come with the photo cards, which was kind of annoying, but whatever. And then these are the um, monograph sets so i only have them starting from fancy um just because the older ones they're like out of print and they're kind of difficult to get so i just decided to start with fancy and this is feel special this is one of my favorite things that twice does i think they're really pretty all the time um and i really like the books themselves as well plus i like that it comes with an ot9 set big hit could never and then this is, I think, what is this from? World in a Day? Yeah, these are the lenticulars. I really don't even know why I bought these. <laughs> like, I kind of don't really love them, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that's twice. So next up, I guess we'll do um, Luna. And then we can do my other girl groups. And then we'll do boy groups. 
So here is Luna. So this is obviously a really big change from the last time that I filmed a Luna photo card collection because before I was collecting OT12, um, but that was getting insane. So I decided to drop that. And now I just collect Cherry and Olivia. Um, for this era though, for And, I am collecting Kimlip as well. I'm still trying to decide if I want to go back and get Kimlip's other cards that I sold, <laughs> um, or if I just want to collect her for this era and kind of like leave the other, the older eras alone, but I haven't really decided, but anyway. Um, this is Cherry's page. So we have her solo cards, her mix and match cards, and her max and match cards. And then this is like the unit and duo page for her. So her cards with Jinsoul, the mix and match and max and match group cards. And then we have Olivia's page. So we have her two solo cards, um, her go on and Olivia cards, and then the YY by Y cards. Because they didn't have a repackage. Um, so I could put these here, and they didn't have a group or unit um, card in YY by Y either, so I figured this would look okay. And then we have plus plus. So I have um, Cherry's two plus plus A and B, and then Olivia's plus plus A and B down here, plus the two units they were in and the group cards. These are all first press, by the way. Um, and then for XX, same thing. We have Cherry's two cards, Olivia's two cards. They're two um, duo cards, and then the two units that they're in. And then we have Hash. These cards are so fucking dark, like, especially these two, like... I don't know, it's kind of annoying, but anyway. And then these are the um, 12 o'clock fan sign cards. So I got most of them. I didn't get the jo Joan music ones because they were like ridiculously expensive and plus they kind of looked like the album cards but I got all the rest of them. Um, so here they are. And then here's Olivia's set. And then here are the actual album cards. So we have A version, B version, C version, and then D version. D version is my favorite. And then these are the um, BBC postcards for the pre order. So um, I have Olivia Cherry in the group right here. And then these are the Music Korea. This is the applicant card and this is the winner card. I want to get um, like Olivia's applicant card and Cherry's winner card as well. Um, but they're really hard to find because they're and they're expensive when I do find them. So. I'm happy just to have at least one of each, but I would like to get um, both for both of them. And um, then this is like the inclusions for Midnight. And then we're on to And Era. So this is um, the BBC postcards for this era. I luckily enough was able to pull both Cherry and Olivia. I am trying to trade. I got Heejin and Vivi as my other two, and I'm trying to trade for Kimlet, but not really going very well. And then here's the start. I haven't put a lot of these cards away, so that's why it's empty. Um, but these are the, what is this, Make Star MMT? MMT, I think. Um, so the first MMT sets, I have Kimlip, Cherry, Olivia. And then A version, I have two cards. B version, I have one card. C version, I just have one card. And then D version, I have Olivia's two cards there, so. I have most of these coming already from trades and such, so I'm just waiting for them to arrive. And then this section is kind of just like random shit. <laughs> um, so this is a lot of summer package stuff right here. Um, this is from their Midnight um, online concert they did with MMT. These are the two postcards for um, the light stick. I actually do have Kim Lip, so I just need to get her out and put her out here. Um, these are the things that came with, yeah, the online concert they did with MMT. Um, so they go right here, and then this is the group card. These are the summer package cards, I think, for um, Olivia and Cherry, and then these are the uh, light, uh, light stick photo cards. I had full set of this, of these light stick cards, and then I sold them all, and then I ended up rebuying Cherry and Olivia because I'm stupid, but whatever. 
And then these are the little ticket things that came with that um, MMT concert. This is from Seasons Greetings 2021. I actually really loved all these cards, so I kept them all. Um, I used to have 2020 Seasons Greetings uh, lining up or whatever. I used to have like a lot of these sets, and a lot of them honestly like weren't that great. So I didn't feel that bad about selling them, but I did like these quite a lot, so I decided to keep them. Because I thought they were really pretty. Their 2021 concept for Seasons Greetings was like way better than their 2020 concept. Like night and day it was crazy how much better it was um but yeah so i kept all these because i thought they were nice and then these are the things in the postcard book these were such a pain in the ass to rip out oh and let me pull it over because i did put them on the back as well yeah, but these were like a pain in the ass, so I hope they don't do something like these again. And then this is something I got for going to see um, Luna perform at a music show back in 2018. Um, I went to the September 11th um, performance of Hi Hi at the show, um, so I got that. And then back here is all of the Orbit fan club stuff. So I've joined Orbit, the Orbit fan club like every time, <laughs> every year. So this is the first generation. I like these a lot. I think the size was really nice. After the first generation, they started doing these like much larger postcards, which were like kind of annoying. Um, but anyway, these first generation, this was second generation. So second generation, they actually gave us photo cards as well. And then they gave us these much larger postcards, which were kind of obnoxious to put away. And then we have um, third generation. I need to get some like filler paper here. Um, but I have the first uh, six members here, and then I have the five remaining ones here. Um, Hustle unfortunately wasn't able to participate in season or in um, the shooting for um, this fan club, so she is not here. But yes, yeah, so they gave us photo cards again. I thought these were actually quite cute too. And then I actually really like these postcards, but again, I kind of wish they were smaller, just because the size is like kind of annoying. But I like the concept, I thought it was kind of cute, having them all with the moon and everything. And then we get to like my random section, so this is just stuff that like, I used to collect Olivia and Cherry somewhat, like really hardcore and like I had everything. Um, but then I sold a lot of it when I dropped OT12. Um, but some of the things I kept because they were kind of annoying to sell or I liked them or whatever, like I kept these two um, Lunabirth things because they were kind of annoying to have to try and sell just because of the size of them. Um, so we have Olivia and Cherry. I also kept this because again this was really large and it would have been annoying to sell. The top is getting a little bit damaged because it does stick out of the um, plastic here, but I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, and I also kept... The, actually, I didn't keep this, but I ended up getting a second one by accident because I had originally bought it from this one seller on Instagram, like, when um, the pandemic first started. And it took her, I think, like, six months to ship it to me. Um, so in the meantime, I had bought a second one, and that one was the one that I ended up selling when I, like, dropped OT12. But then this one ended up coming, like, in the mail randomly, so I just kept it. Um, but yeah, so we have that. This is another thing that I kept... Um, just because of the size. This is stuff from the Lunaverse concert. Same with this one. And then these things I kept too. And then I also have a good one on the back. So yeah, that's Luna. I thought about getting back into doing non-album stuff more for Luna, but 
I don't know, I feel like I collect too many groups at this point, and Luna's always so fucking expensive that it's kind of like a turnoff for me to like try and do anything with them outside of just like album cards and fansign cards because people overpriced it so much. Um, and I don't want them to become stressful again because that's why I dropped OT12. It was just becoming like way too stressful. Um, but yeah, that's it for Luna. Next we'll do the rest of my girl groups. Okay, so now we have the rest of my girl groups. I always consider myself a girl group like stan, but I feel like people think I'm a boy group stan because I collect BTS and now AT is like pretty heavily. <laughs> um, but as you guys can see from this binder, I collect quite a few girl groups um, and I tend to like girl groups more than boy groups. I only collect like five boy groups or something, but I collect like 12 girl groups, so whatever. Anyway, um, here we have my girl groups, like I was saying, we start off with Chunga. This is alphabetical as well. Um, so we start off with Chunga. So I collect her current album cards, um, as well as some other kind of like random stuff. So these are the postcards from some of her albums, stickers, the little bookmark things, more postcards. I'm missing, I think, one or two of the postcards, but like I don't really care at this point. It fits this nicely. Um, this is from the um, second fan club kit, these photo cards. And then this is from 2020 season's greetings. And then they, that goes to here. And then these ones are 2021 season's greetings. And then these are the postcards from 2021 season's greetings. And then we want to Dreamcatcher. So for Dreamcatcher, I'm missing like six or seven cards, maybe. Um, I only collect Yu Hyun, so I actually do collect um, Yu and Sua as well, but only for the more recent albums. If Dreamcatcher would fucking reprint their albums, maybe I would collect them for more stuff. But at this point, it's too expensive, which is why I haven't even finished this collection, just because. I either can't find the cards, or when I do find them, it's like $35, and I'm just like, nah. Um, so yeah. So here's where I started collecting um, G.U., Sua, and Yuhan. Then these are some fan sign cards for the last era, um, Rotitopia. So I still have a few more that are like on the way to me, um, but this is what I have right now. And then these are the, what was this, the tin? There was like some tin, like T-I-N thing from um, the concert they did with MMT recently. Um, and then these are the little standy situations from Rotitopia. I ended up with like five of them. I should probably just like get all seven members. Um, and these are the things from the limited albums. I was able to, I think, trade for both of these. Yeah. And then we go to Everglow. I'm like undecided about my Everglow collection. I kind of wanted to like switch and collect Erin instead of EU, but um, I'm also really lazy and I really don't want to have to trade all of these cards. Um, so I might just keep going with EU. I still like her. I, I just think Erin's like becoming my bias like more and more. So but yeah, I'm done. I think with her up through the current album. These are the postcards from Arrival of Everglow. These are the ones from Hush. Um, and then Reminiscence. I used to collect both EU and Erin, which is why I have a lot of her um, like postcard sized items. I just didn't sell these when I sold my Erin collection. Um, and then this is from whatever the hell, however you say the name of that last album. And then these are the last Melody ones. These are like, I hate this size. This like square size is really obnoxious to me. Um, but yeah. That's that, so that's everywhere. And then from his nine, I collect Hyung. So I need to complete, what is the name of their album? Nine, 
nine-way ticket or something like that. Um, I need to finish that. I only have one card. I haven't been able to find any trades, um, so I'm about to just start buying it and buying the cards and selling um, what I have. But I am complete up to the, the previous album. So, And this is the ID card and the postcards that came with that. And then we get to G-Friend. Poor G-Friend. Oh my god. So G-Friend, I decided to start collecting them after um, the most recent album. What was it called? I don't remember anymore. The Mago album. I don't remember what the hell it was called anymore. Um, well, Purgate's Night. I decided to start collecting them after that, thinking, oh, you know, it's G-Friend. They'll be here for a few more years at least. Tell me why they disbanded after that and they don't release any more albums but whatever um so for g friend i collect unha um i'm still missing two cards so i'm missing um this card from parallel i think and then a card from time for the moon knight but other than that i'm done with her collection i still don't really know what i'm gonna do with this whether i want to um sell it or what I'm, I'm trying to like wait and see um for what she's gonna do now that she's not in g-friend anymore because if she releases like solo music i'd probably buy that and continue to collect it assuming they were photo cards but i don't really know anymore so yeah i like killed myself trying to freaking complete all of these thinking that they were going to have a comeback soon, and then they instead announced that they were going to disband, so... Yeah, it was a little bit um, frustrating, I'm not going to lie. And then this is the only card I have for the limited edition of um, Time for the Moon Knight. Uh, I'm obviously not going to- or Time for Us, I mean, I'm obviously not going to get the rest of them now, because I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep collecting um, uh -huh, but also the cards are like really expensive so then we get to gwsn so G gwsn i collect um, on so they don't have too many cards which is nice <laughs> it's a pretty chill collection i need to figure out i have um a lot of their larger inclusions i just don't remember where i put them but i need to find them so i can put them like here with the rest of the stuff um but yeah like i said GW gwsn's chill they don't have too many albums they don't have too many cards so that's a pretty easy collection. Um, and then we get to Itzy, which is like a nightmare. Uh, but for Itzy, I collect Region. So this is It's uh, it's I See, It's Me. And then we get to Not Shy, starting here. So these are a bunch of the pre-order and fan sign um, cards. I'm only missing like two of them, which I do actually have on the way. They just, they got mailed to me in March. And then they got returned back to China and they just got returned to the person that sold them to me like today. So she's going to resend them. So it's been like four or five months <laughs> um, and she's going to have to send them again. But anyway, um, so this is not shy. And then we get to guess who. So this is the yes 24 little mini poster. Um, these are the fan sign cards I have so far. I'm still um, waiting on quite a few. <laughs> because I have a bunch. These are the Tower Records cards. Uh, I forget what store this was from, but this was another like fan sign or pre-order card. And then we have the actual album cards right here. And then this was the limited edition. So I'm still waiting on Yeji's um, card to come in because I did trade for that. Uh, but I decided to collect OT5 because I ended up with like three or four out of the five cards um, anyway. And then these are just kind of like some random larger inclusions. And these are the um, light ring and light ring case. I have the other light ring card as well that I just got in the mail recently. Um, so this is gonna, this is like my random like non-album page. And then this is my no bad days. So I have January through June so far. I think July just shipped to me recently. Um, 
It shipped with EMS though, which I hate because EMS is slow. Um, so I should be getting that. I do want to eventually get the Polaroids for January through June. They're just kind of expensive, so I don't know. I ended up doing the like subscription thing with with Drama for July through December though, so I'll get the Polaroids for all of those. Um, and then these are the birthday cards that came with um, these two No Bad Days. I also have Chase, and then um, we'll get Leah, I guess, for July. So, and then this was from the um, Mitzi First Generation Fan Club kit. I actually thought this kit was really nice. They didn't give us a whole lot of bullshit, which was nice. <laughs> Sometimes the fan club uh, kits are like a bunch of crap you really don't care about. Um, but they gave us a lot of stuff that would go like in a binder, which was nice. Plus I like the theme. I thought it was quite cute. It's very like 2006. It looks like 13 going on 30, like girl party vibes. And then these are the extra like non-region things I have. So I have Yuna in the group. Um, little postcard things. The other guess who postcard things. Yuna's uh, folded poster. This group guess who thing from the limited edition. Then we get to red velvet. So for red velvet I collect Sluggy. Red Velvet was on the chopping block for me. I was like thinking about selling the whole collection because they've basically been inactive for like a year and a half um, at this point. But then they said they're supposed to have a comeback in like August or September. So I guess I'm still going to be here. But anyway, um, for Sulgi, I am done. Um, I collect the Korean album cards. I don't, and I also have Japanese album cards. I don't collect the Kino cards though because those are kind of ridiculous and the Kinos annoy me. Um, but anyway, here is what... We have her Miss Sulgi. Honestly, her collection was not that hard other than that card for finale. Um, everything else was pretty chill. And then I have all of their monster cards. And also her little lenticular here in the middle. And then these are some larger inclusions. So this is the day one little standy thing, the day two postcard, um, finale postcard, and then the finale ticket as well. And then these are Irene's monster um, postcards that came with the albums that I bought. And then these are Sluggies. I didn't end up getting all of them just because like I didn't really care. And at that point I was kind of like tired. <laughs> um, so I just have the ones that I got in my album. And then, we come to Rocket Punch, so I'm going to drop this Rocket Punch collection just because it is kind of annoying for me. Um, my bias is Yanni, um, so she's who's here, and then this is Dayan. This is the card I pulled in the most recent album, but yeah, this collection is really annoying because they used to just do one or two cards per member, so this is Pink Punch and Red Punch, which just, just both had one um, card per member, and then Blue Punch, all of a sudden they did five cards per member, but they only have one version of the album, and for this one, I think you got... I can't remember if it was one, it might have been two cards, but still, I was like, only one version of the album and you want me to collect five cards, so, um, I'm still missing one of the cards as well. And then for this most recent album, again, it's five cards per member, only one version, only one card per album. So I'm just like, nah, like, I'm not doing this anymore, so, I mean, I'm gonna drop it, I just, I haven't really done anything with it yet, but, anyway. It's just annoying when companies do that. Like, it makes me, like, not even want to collect them when they make it, like, difficult like that. Um, and then we have Stacy. So I collect Suman for Stacy. I need to get her other album card for the most recent comeback. Um, just haven't yet. I was looking on Mercari US, because I, I was like, okay, let me just buy it. Like, screw it. It's, like, expensive. People want, like, $15 for it, and I'm just like, nah. Like, no thanks. Like, I understand you only get one card per album, but that doesn't mean you can charge people $15. It's just, like, fucking annoying. Um, but anyway, next we have Weekly. So I collect so on for Weekly. So I used to collect, like, their fan sign cards, um, but then I pretty much stopped <laughs> this last go-round because they had, like, a million, and I was like, nah. So I think I only have, like, one. Um, but yeah. 
I have all of her album cards and I'm just gonna keep up with the album cards and like screw the rest of them. Um, I have actually gotten someone's Tower Records um, card because this is Monday. Um, and I got someone's recently. I'm just waiting for the person to ship it. It's been like 500 years, it feels like. Um, and then some larger inclusions. And then in the back here is like random groups and soloists and whatever things I don't like people I don't really collect so um we have G Idol here uh Cherry Bullet IU Rose Oh My Girl so I have quite a few Oh My Girl albums but I just don't collect their cards so they go back here more Oh My Girl uh Beckin Wean Taman some soloists that I don't really collect. Um, Yukika. Um, Yukika's postcards. Her little more postcards and stickers. And then Rose's um, postcards. And then some random larger inclusions. This is from Shiny's album. I actually need to move this to my other binder. This is Beckyon's album, and then this is Taman's. And yeah, that's it for this um, binder. Next up will be my boy group binder, but I'm gonna have to charge my camera first, so I'll be back in a little bit with my boy groups. Okay, now let's finish off this video with the boy groups. I said it was gonna be a quick break and it ended up being a whole day, so <laughs> um, hopefully we can make this pretty quick. So for boy groups, I only collect a few, to be honest. Um, I think I said this in my other video, but I feel like people have a perception of me being a boy group stan, but um, I really only collect like four or five, so I don't really consider myself one, but anyway. Um, so I collect ATs, and that's going to be the first group we're going to go through. So I collect Hongjun, Sangwa, and Young for them for the album cards. I collect um, Sangwa for like everything, basically. <laughs> He's my bias. Um, I collect Hongjun and Young for a few like non-album things. Um, and I collect Hongjun and Songwa for the uh, fan sign cards. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but you guys will see what I'm saying um, as we go. But anyway, um, we have Korean albums first. <clears throat> Honestly, I didn't find um, AT's Korean album cards to be that difficult to finish. I was able to find trades um, for Songwa for basically all of them. Um, I think I traded for Hongjun for like a few um, and I think I traded for Wu Young for like two or three. Um, but yeah, it's not that bad and they really don't have that many Korean album cards either because up until, um, Fever, uh, part one, they only had like one per version. So like, if you could look back, like we have EP1, EP2, EP3 Wave, EP3 Illusion, um, FN A, FN Z, the anniversary albums, um, and then answer A and C, and then once you start getting to Fever Part 1 is where they actually have multiple per version. Um, so they have two for Thanks, two for Inception, and then one for Diary, and then for um, Fever Part 2 they had two for A with a limited card, and then two for Diary with a limited card, and then two for Z with limited cards. So it's really not that difficult, I didn't find. Um, and then these are the group cards. So I do have the um, MMT um, Epfin Z version group card on the way, which will go right here to go with the A version. Um, but that, I don't have it on hand, it's still on the way. <clears throat> and then these are all like the map and message cards they have for the different albums. They've basically stopped doing these, and same thing with the group cards, which on the one hand, I don't really mind, on the other hand, I kind of like them, so a little bit bummed. <laughs> Um, next up we come to fan sign cards, so AT's wasn't that bad until Fever Part 1, but really Fever Part 2 is when I got crazy. But anyway, these are the MMT cards, um, so they started doing MMT cards with um, F3, so we have Wave, Illusion, um, and then Fin A, Fin Z. <clears throat> so answer, I am like fully missing Songwa, like I don't have it, like I, I can't find it for the life of me. For um, Wu Young, I actually do have this one. I just need to put it away because um, I'm done with Hongjun and Wu Young for these. I just need to find Songwa's answer A. 
And then we have the MMT postcards. These came with the anniversary version of the Epfan album. And then these are Fever Part 1 MMT cards. So we have Thanks, Inception, and then Diary. And then these are the other <laughs> fan sign cards for um, Fever Part 1. So these are all of Hong Jun's. And then we have all the Songwas. And I don't collect Wu Young other than the MMTs. Um, just because that would be a lot. <laughs> It's already a lot to do two members, and I can't imagine doing a third. Um, so these are the MMTs for Fever Part 2. So we have Hong Jun Song. Well, Wu going to go right here. I have two out of his three um, coming to me uh, soon. The third one, I can't remember which version it is, so I'm waiting until that package arrives, and then I'm just going to buy the third one that I need. Um, but yeah, I'm done with Hong Jun Song. Well. And then these are the rest of the Fever Part 2 fan sign and pre-order cards they did so many they literally did like 30 um for fever part two and it was just like never ending like when was their comeback it was like march 1st or something and they didn't end this crap until like june july like it was crazy how long they kept doing um like fan signs and everything but anyway um here's what we have I don't remember all the stores, so I'm not going to say which ones are which, but... And then they ended, too, at like an awkward number, so I have like a few spots um, empty, so that's Hongjun. And then these are some of those. And then Sungwa, like, Hongjun had three of these MK Media unit cards and um, everyone else only had two, so that's why there's, like, one more blank space um, for him. And then these are some um, full group sets that I got. So for Makestar, I actually, like, won um, the event. Like, I won the fan call with the signed album and the Polaroid and everything. I didn't actually, uh, like, participate in the fan call. I raffled it to a person in my group order. Um, and she was the one that actually ended up talking with Hong Jun, but um, I did win the full set. So we have the full set of the hollow cards and the regular cards for Mixstar. And then this is a full set of the music art, the second music art um, fan sign. And then these are some um, Japanese uh, favorite part two pre-order things. It's basically the same like set of four photos, just one has like a message and one doesn't, so me being me, I decided to get both of them. Um, and then these are the Japanese cards, so we have Songwa's um, Epfin Japan version A and Z. I don't remember the names of these. Shift the map, so A and Z. Map the answer. Map to answer, um, A and Z, and then a to Z. <laughs> Everything <laughs> sounds the same. Um, so yeah, so we have these. I've thought about collecting Hongjun as well for the Japanese stuff, but I don't know if I really want to. I might do it just for the photo cards like this. Um, for these kind of photo sets though, I'm definitely not going to because that would be too much, but um, these are Japan photo sets. So these, they do a lot of events um, in Japan whenever they have a release. So um, that's what most of these are coming from. And these really aren't that expensive either, which was the only reason I got them. Plus it's kind of a fun thing to get like every um, release, I think. And then this is where we stop. So I have all of them um, up to A to Z. Um, they have like Tower Records bromides and stuff. I'm, I'm missing those for a lot of the older um, eras, so. But those are really expensive. I've seen them on Mercari Japan for like 300 plus dollars and I'm just like, mm, no. So we'll see what happens with that. I would like to get them, but at the same time, I really don't want to spend $300 either. So for now, I'll just leave it alone. Um, then we get to the next section, which is like broadcast cards. So I have quite a few broadcast cards like on the way to me, like in transit right now, um, or that I've bought recently. Um, for right now, I only have a few though. So I have um, Songwa's Moon River and um, one of his favorite part two um, 
cards. I don't collect all of them because I don't like all of them. Um, so I'm only really collecting the ones that I like. Um, and the ones that I like are basically all of EP3, um, all of Epfin, the Moon River one, uh, basically all Fever Part 1, and then for Fever Part 2 I'm only getting this one, and then the unit one he's got with Yosong. I don't really like the other two they did for Fever Part 2. And then for EP1 and EP2, it's they're really expensive. <laughs> so there's a few that I would like to have um, if I could find them for like not $600. Um, but we'll see, because there's not that many of them, and they're double-sided to where it's like Hongjun and Songwa, like on the same card, just like one on one side, one on the other. So because of that, because you have like two like groups of stands trying to collect them too, it's like really difficult and they're really expensive. So I don't know if I might be able to get them, but anyway, that was kind of a tangent. Um, so I have those two on hand and then I also have the answer postcards. I ended up getting Hongjun for these as well because it would fit up or it would fill up a four pocket nicely. Um, and I thought it would look cute to do it. I don't really think I'm gonna collect many of his other broadcast cards. There are a few other ones that I do like, um, but I don't really know if I want to spend the money on them right now, so we'll see. Um, these are, now we're getting into like other um, non-album type things, so for most of this stuff I do collect Tong Jun, Sangwa, and Wu Young, but there are a few things where I don't collect both of them, and I only collect Sangwa. Um, but anyway, up first we have the light stick case, so for this I actually ended up buying the light stick and the case recently when they did the restock so i'll probably end up be selling these and then keeping the full ot8 set and just make a page for that um these are the name tag things from um fever part one these are from the bracelets from fever part two these both of these were like really fucking annoying to get and then there's also they're coming out with like a key ring that's gonna have um photo cards and then the, the like AT's memories hidden map or whatever it's called thing that's also gonna have photo cards. So I'm gonna have, probably have to rearrange this section a little bit, but we'll get to that when we get to that. This is like my season's greetings page. So we have the 2021 season's greetings cards for Hong Jun, Sangwa, and Wu Young. Um, I only have the 2021 um, ID badge for Hong Jun, and then I only have the 2021 for Sangwa. I think I'm just gonna get whatever next year's ID thing is for Wu Young and then do it like that instead of getting all of them for all three of them because these are like not my favorite things and <laughs> like I don't really want to spend the money um, especially because Songwaz is really expensive for this and then these I just really don't like that much so I really don't want like these are not expensive but I really just don't want to spend the money on them um so yeah that's kind of my plan for that page and then these are the second anniversary uh photo card set thingamajigs and these are just some like random things <laughs> um so we have the keikon japan cards for um hong jun sangwa and wu young and then we have this star 1117 um perfume cards so we have all three of them and then i have sangwa's um fellowship dvd card here and I have two of his um, A to Z Tower Records limited pop-up uh, photo cards here. I'm probably gonna have to rearrange this section because like, like I said they did release or they are gonna be releasing that like memories type DVD so I'll need to figure out how I want to lay that out. Um, these are for the sub K uh, photo cards from the photo card set so I got seven members for that. So they did like an A, a diary, and a Z version set. I really love this one of Wu Young. I think it's so cute. And then these are the Polaroids. So these came, um, you got one Polaroid with each item you bought. I ended up buying like 12 ID sets to get all the Polaroids. Um, but yeah, kind of is what it is. Um, so yeah, so I have uh, seven members for this. And then black outfits. I really like these. I was originally only going to keep um, Hong Jun, Sangwa, and Wu Young, but I ended up liking the full set, so I just decided to keep them all. Um, and then these are the mini posters that came from the Fellowship Tour DVD. So I have um, obviously Hong Jun and Sangwa on the front. So we start off with um, you know, and then we have Yo Sang, San, Mingi, Wu Young, and Jungo. 
And then we'll move on to my next section, which is in hyphen. I'm honestly thinking about dropping in hyphen. I probably will drop them next comeback just because it's like really difficult to collect them. The fandom is like really honestly like kind of terrible, especially with everything that's been going on recently. Um, like with just rampant like racism and all that kind of stuff. And it's just like a pain in the ass to collect them. Like every time I always have like the biggest struggle trying to like actually get the cards I need because like I don't know the trading market just seems like really difficult if you don't pull like Jungwon basically so um yeah I don't really know what I want to do but right now I'm feeling like dropping them the next comeback but anyway um this is border day one um and this is carnival the only thing that's made me like not drop them yet is the fact that you could technically complete each member just by buying the albums. Like you don't really have to buy anything extra. Um, but I don't know. And then these are the little ticket thingies. Definitely, um, this one is definitely one of the collections that I have kind of like on the chopping block, so to speak. Um, next we come to Shiny. So Shiny, I collect Kibum. I'm not back collecting them right now, so I just have Don't Call Me. Um, and Atlantis. I do need to get, um, there's another, like, don't call me, like, AR card or whatever that I need to get, but other than that, I am finished with his cards. But yeah, I don't want to go back, because honestly, I don't like a lot of the older shiny cards, number one. Number two, the albums are, like, basically all out of print, so I don't want to spend that much money. Um, but yeah, these are the postcards I got with Atlantis, so we got Jinky and Taemin. I didn't end up trading those because they're really large and I was just like, I don't really care. <laughs> it's not a big enough deal for me to want to trade it. And then these are the um, little pop-out card things. So these you got one with each album, but it wasn't like one version came with one and the other version came with the other. These were like random, so I ended up getting two yellow ones, <laughs> um, which was kind of weird on SM's part, I thought, but whatever. Um, so then we have the sticker sheets. And then we get to TXT. TXT is like the biggest mindfuck for me in terms of my collection. Like nothing about the way I have anything laid out makes any sense, but whatever. Um, so I have this eight pocket up first because TXT, especially their first few albums, they had these gigantic photo cards, which was really annoying. Um, but luckily I also collect BTS, so I already had eight pocket pages. I feel really bad for people who like didn't collect BTS and they only collect TXT because they probably didn't have these eight pocket type pages because I feel like only BTS <laughs> uses these. Um, but luckily I had some, so it wasn't a big deal. But um, anyway, we have um, Star, Magic, well, this is also Star, um, and Eternity cards here. Or that's Magic, I mean. Um, and then I also have Kai and Bungyu here on the back because these are the other ones that came with my album. Um, and I'm too lazy to like sell them or do anything about it. So, and then we come up to um, Blue Hour. So I think this is this is R. Is this VR and this is AR? I can never keep the freaking versions straight to save my life. Um, yeah, so we have those, and then these are from the um, Japanese album, which was called I can't remember. I can't remember what the Japanese album was called, but um, these are three of his photo cards from that. I didn't get all of them because some of them were really expensive, <laughs> and also I didn't like um, all of them, so I just got a few. Um, then we move on to uh, Freeze. So this is the Yes24 benefit, I want to say. It's like holographic. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's holographic. It's really pretty, actually. Um, but yeah, I think that's from Yes24, I want to say. Um, and this is the Weverse um, pre-order benefit. And then these are the different versions. So we have World, um, Boy, and You. I think I said that in the right order. And then these are the OS cards. I'm not sure what I want to do with um, Yunjin and Bongyu, whether I want to sell them or keep them. But right now I'm going to keep them in here. Um, yeah. And then these are the postcards. So these are from Blue Hour. So I did them like this because I couldn't figure out a better way to do these stupid square things. 
Um, I ended up, I think, buying all of um, Subin's because I didn't pull any of his. Um, so I have the ones that I pulled here on the back. So I got Yeonjun for two of them and then Taeyeon for the first one. Um, and then these are the stickers from that album. These are the postcards from the most recent album, which I joined a um, group order with Jane and she actually managed to pull me all of Subin's postcards so I didn't have to do anything with that, thank God. Um, I just wish these postcards weren't so big or weren't such a weird size. I don't really like the fact I have to use these one pocket pages for them. Um, these are some stickers from Eternity. Um, I forget what album this came with. Blue Hour, maybe? Eternity? I don't know. I don't remember. But this came with one of the albums. Um, and then these are the two film strips from their photo books. So this is from the first one and the second one. Um, this is some more stuff. I th this is from a photo book. I think this might be from one of their memories. Yeah, their memories? Yeah. Yeah, this is from TXT First Memories. They look like freaking babies in this photo. It's so funny. Oh my god. Um, this is from Seasons Greetings 2021. Um, this is just like random non-album stuff for Subin. So we have um, his photo card with Kai from the second um, photo book. I do kind of want to get the, f the other one with um, Taeyeon, but uh, that one's usually pretty expensive because it's really cute. Uh, and I don't really want to pay money. <laughs> so um, I also have uh, Subin's First Memories photo card. I actually pulled um, Yeonjin, but obviously that was a really easy trade. So I uh, went ahead and did that with someone on Instagram. And then this is um, from Seasons Greetings, the most recent 2021 one. This one, I think I pulled Bongyu Taeyeon. I pulled one of those two. Um, I ended up buying Subin and selling, or wait, no, what did I end up doing? I think I ended up buying Subin and then I think I, I, think I pulled Taeyeon and I think I sold him to Jane. Might have been what I did. I can't really remember. These were kind of um, annoying though, and I really don't like the fact they do these like random weird member things. It's one of the reasons I didn't end up getting their fan live DVD was because the random member item was something weird and I was just like, I don't really care um, about that. So anyway, these are the backpack and bandana, I want to say, PCs from their second fan live. And this is another thing from their um, memories DVD. Same thing here. These are two broadcast cards. I kind of bought these in a delusional state of mind. Um, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. Um, but I have, uh, what is this, Angel or Devil and um, Blue Hour. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do now. I guess I'm gonna get two more and fill out this four pocket, but um, I'm not really like hardcore collecting their broadcast just because they are expensive as fuck. Um, and yeah. Um, and then these are the car ticket thingies from um, the second fan live. Big Hit has been kind of obsessed with doing this kind of stuff recently and I don't really get it. I don't understand why they ship them to us in plastic like this either, but I don't know. Um, these are some postcards from random um, fan live merch. I don't remember which one came from what. And then I completed OT5 for the second fan live. I didn't do the first fan live, um, and I kind of regret it now because those mini photo cards now are like super fucking expensive, and like I just don't want to spend that much money, so I probably won't finish that. Um, but I did do OT5, and I ended up with like so many freaking extras that I still need to sell. But anyway, we have Subin. Bongu, he was like the biggest pain in the ass to complete out of any of the members because there were like multiple cards of his that I like couldn't get. I got this card like 500 times, but I couldn't get either his two or three or I think seven for like the life of me. But I got this card, this card, and his eight card like a lot. And Tan. And Kai. The units were also really difficult for me for some reason. I could six and seven were like 
very difficult to find. Like these all were easy. This one was easy. This one was easy. I pulled this one like a lot, but these two were like really hard for like no reason. But anyway, that is all the boy groups that I have. Like I said, I don't really collect that many. What I tend to do with boy groups is not collect that many, but the ones I do collect, I collect a little bit um, more extensively than most of my girl groups. So I guess that's kind of what happens. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will also be filming an updated BTS photo card collection at some point. I don't know when, maybe after Butter. Ugh. But then we also have memories. I don't know, they just keep releasing stuff and it's hard to like pick a good time when my collection feels like it's ready to be shown. <laughs> um, but I will film that BTS update eventually. So keep an eye out for that and I will see you guys soon. Bye.